Hello and welcome back to Movie Health Community, the internet's number one source of health warnings at the movies. As always, please keep in mind that nothing produced by Movie Health Community is medical advice, nor has any of it been reviewed by any medical professionals. Last night, I went to an AMC Screen Unseen event, except they marketed it as AMC Scream Unseen, suggesting that I was watching a horror movie. All I knew was that it was a horror movie, it was rated R, it was about 90 minutes, and most likely it was Out of Darkness. Turned out it was Out of Darkness. Out of Darkness is a new Stone Age thriller horror film. Now before we talk about whether this movie was any good, let's talk about if it was safe. The answer is not really. This movie was not very safe for photosensitive audiences. The most common offender is that there are scenes that are lit exclusively by firelight, like in a campfire style light, and these lights have a very constant flicker to them. There is one late scene that has some lightning, and it starts off where the lightning is very dim and distant, so it's not a huge risk, but... As the sequence moves on, the lightning becomes quite severe. So for flashing lights, we are giving Out of Darkness an 8 out of 10. Heavy caution about that lightning and about the constant use of flickering fire. The camera is shaken fairly violently a few times in this movie. With mental health warnings, this movie has graphic gore, human euthanasia, somebody who's experiencing convulsions, cannibalism being depicted, and on-screen vomiting, all in about three minutes. There is a teenager who is preyed upon in ways that are sexual and highly inappropriate, and there is a scene where an attempt at an assault is interrupted. Now, this movie was marketed as a horror movie that AMC Theaters was not telling us what movie it was, Let's talk about if it was any good. The answer is no, not really. This was not a good movie. First off, for being a horror movie, it was not scary. I have a friend I watched this movie with who said that they fell asleep a few times and they like horror movies. My biggest complaint about this movie is that everything is just too dark. Not in terms of dark content, but in terms of visually it's so hard to see anything that's going on. That's especially true during these campfire scenes. One movie that handled pitch black darkness in a much better way than this movie, and this movie could have learned from it, was The Batman. The Batman used darkness almost as an additional character, but it didn't sacrifice the audience being able to see what's going on for the sake of darkness being something to be scared of. If you find this movie interesting, that's good for you. This movie does kind of fall apart with its ending though. There's an ending where something quite tragic happens and the person who made the mistake is so heavy handed with the lesson they were supposed to learn from their mistake that it amounts to sloppy writing. I have to say, even in scenes that took place during the day, I had trouble seeing what was going on because it was still quite dark. The only things I think this movie did well were the costumes. Uh, I think the performances were okay. I think everybody did know exactly what kind of movie they were trying to make. It just was not a good movie. So I am going to give Out of Darkness a D. Thank you so much to our readers on Tumblr and Facebook, and as always, an extra special thanks to our patrons over on our Patreon page whose names are scrolling on the screen like credits right now. Be sure to leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we post new videos, and as always, stay safe at the movies.